Hey folks, so just wanted to show you some uh, dining options available to you on Clark. Uh, there's a ton of restaurants on, on the Freeport Zone. Uh, these two in particular that we dined at are uh, as you're coming up the main road from the front gate, they're on the left hand side and uh, it's kind of like a little strip mall. And up there for dining options, you have the um, Sitting Bowl, which is also in Barrio Breda down in Subic Bay. And the other place we tried was the, the Shawarma Boss. It's a little small uh, shawarma shop. Uh, so just a couple of options here. So, so yeah, here is the uh, Bretto's. It's another option here in this little strip mall. Uh, Bretto's is also in uh, Barrio Breda area as well as downtown Angeles City. It's a well-known deli. Um, you can buy meats, imported meats. They also have other products that you can purchase. So here's the sitting bowl itself. Uh, we had some lunch here. I'll show you the inside here in a sec. It's pretty good size inside. Lots of tables. And like I mentioned, the uh, have a location down in Barrio Breda, down in Subic as well. I would uh, classify it basically sort of like diner food. Um, lots of American choices. You'll see the menu here in a second. The uh, menu is huge. Normally for dining, if a restaurant has a large menu, I tend to think that uh, they're not going to be able to prepare everything that well. Um, usually for me, the smaller the menu, um, the better the restaurant's probably going to be. But uh, believe it or not, this Sin Bull restaurant, um, everything we've had here, uh, they've done well. And uh, the Barrio Barretta location as well gets uh, great reviews. So that's definitely a place I would recommend. As you can see here on the menu, lots of classics. Uh, a lot of burger choices. Burgers look pretty good size. They got some uh, specialty burgers. Lots of uh, cold subs, sandwiches. The uh, deli meats in particular in Philippines are hard to uh, come by. And when you do find them, they're very pricey. So coming to a restaurant like this to eat like sandwiches and stuff is a, is a good option. Uh, just have them make it for you instead of trying to make, make it yourself. Here's the food uh, I had, which was the uh, Salisbury steak. It's pretty typical looking for like a diner in the U.S. And then my wife had the, uh, it's a burrito, and that, that looked pretty tasty. Um, you see here, they have a counter. You can order cakes, pies, lots of choices for dessert. And... Uh, they always seem to have some fresh pies available uh, to get a slice after after you eat your meal. As you see here, our bill was uh, 670, but she actually forgot a soda, so our bill is actually 720 pesos, which is uh, just under 15 dollars U.S., which is uh, pretty good for the amount of food we had. Uh, just normal prices for Philippines. Our next dining option is going to be the shawarma boss scene here. Uh, actually a small little place. Uh, not many options on the menu, but uh, like I mentioned before, if you keep it simple, it's usually pretty good food. So you see here, they got the traditional uh, shawarma spit cooking method that they have. You'll see the menu here in a second on the wall. Um, they have beef and chicken, shawarmas along with kebabs and a few side dishes like french fries. Here's another view of the, uh, the cooking apparatus. Like I mentioned before, a small little place. Um, the food was good. 
think our total bill was uh, less than 300 pesos. Um, really cheap. So that's like less than six dollars, well, a little over six dollars, about 620 US. So it's another good option here on Clark. Um, so once you're on here, the Freeport Zone, plenty of restaurant options for you to try out. As always, I uh, appreciate each and every one of you tuning into the channel. Thank you.